What if I told you that there is a Minecraft version that is literally free? Well, there is one, and it's called the Minecraft demo, where you get one hour and a half to do whatever you want before the world does this, where you literally just can't do anything. There's no multiplayer and you can't even change your name. So can you beat the entire game on a free Minecraft version? I mean, how hard could it be? I had no idea what I got myself into. But with high hopes and no plan, I loaded World 1. Okay, we're starting. Okay, so we only have 1 hour and 40 minutes to finish this version, so we gotta go quick and craft door. Oh, wait, okay, that was close. Oh, wait, what? Diamonds? I did not expect to find these here. Let's get our pickaxe. Diamond. Oh, look, a little waterfall. Is that more diamonds? What? After that, I realized that I had already wasted 30 minutes on the caves. So I got out and started looking for a lava pool. There we go, we're finally out of this place. I'm realizing now that if I was a world record holder, I would have already beat the game a few times. But I'm not, so let's keep going. Wait, I think I just looped around. I was already here before. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm supposed to be looking for a lava pool, but I really can't find one. So I might just go down here and try to look for one. Oh, oh, oh. Please don't die. Oh, look, more diamonds. What? Let's get these. So I started looking for a lava pool, but I got a bit distracted. More diamonds? Okay, I'll take those. And I still didn't find a lava pool. So back up to the surface we go. You might be wondering what this is and why my skin has all these weird settings in here. Well, interestingly enough, demo mode, like normal Minecraft, actually lets you use the mods from your mod folder in the game. This mod, the one for the settings, is called Essential, but any mod can be added. So there was one time where I accidentally joined with an Origins mod and it actually worked. Uh, How did I put a mod? What? What? How? I'm so confused. I just put a mod inside the demo mode. I did not know you, you, you could do that. Anyways, that's not really important, so let's keep going. On the way there, I found a village, so I restocked on food and kept going. At this point, I genuinely started to think that there was just no lava pools in my world. But luckily, I was wrong. Wait, is that a ruined portal? No way that's a ruined portal. Oh my god, that is so huge. After a little hour of searching, I finally found a place to build a portal and I headed to the nether. Oh, that was scary. Okay, we're alive somehow. Now we just gotta run off these buildings because they are not nice. Fortress! Okay, this is this is big. Is that a base spawner? Yeah, it is. Let's go. We finally found it. Wait, three out of three. That's actually a really good luck. Nine. Okay, that's perfect. We can leave now. Okay, now we just need ender pros, which I think we can find a lot of endermen in this battle. There we go. That's nice. Okay. We're done. Now we just gotta find our portal. Wait, so to cut a long story short, I just got lost in the nether and then my time ran out, so I had to blow myself up. GG's. But this can't end here, so I loaded up a new world. Wait, is this the same world as last time? What? You see, in this version, there's only one seed, which means you spawn in the same world every single time. Time. This means that if we can find the seed of the world, we can just go into it in a creative world and just find every structure we need to beat the game. Please work, please work, please work. Oh, it worked, let's go. We're in the same seed. There's one issue though. That slash Loki command doesn't work for lava pool, so we're gonna have to locate a rune portal and then go to the nether from there. Okay, so there's one and here is a rune portal. So you're telling me I could have just walked a hundred blocks and gone to the nether, but instead I wandered around for a whole hour just looking for a portal? Okay, okay. And here's an iron golem, which we have to kill to get three iron so we can actually build another. Okay, so we'll spawn right here, which is pretty good because there's a white forest where we can kill endermen. But we really need a fortress where this run will be dead. Okay, apparently there's one really near. We just gotta find those coordinates. Okay, we found it, but it's not actually as dear as I thought. We're gonna have to cross all of this forest, then all this nether waste, just to get to our portal, which is right here. So we go back to the white forest, we kill these endermen, and when we get enough pearls, we can leave. And the stronghold is pretty far away but that's expected we just need a runaway okay the stronghold should be right around here so let's look for it in spectator mode there we go this is a stronghold oh, wait this is actually pretty good and the Emporto actually already has two eyes which is actually really good there's this weird amethyst geode cutting off the room it's actually really weird oh right, so now i just have to memorize the route and try and beat the game
Okay, that was close. Oh. Uh. Now we go in this house. We should have our armor, right? Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I just messed something up. Oh, I just deleted my water. So now we need more. Oh, I should have done that. Is there no more lava? Uh-oh. Okay, there is. And then I run out of lava. With one piece left, like, please. Oh, I just died. I guess it's run three now. There we go. Finally. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Here we go. That was not that hard. Zero place rolls. Okay, that's fine. Oh, have a heart. Okay, this is not good. Hide. Hide. Okay, that was very close. And now we have no food, so we gotta be careful. Okay, bonuses. Let's get this. Oh, I'm gonna die right now. Okay, this has to be the one, right? This has to be the run I don't die in the nether. At least when I get the ender pearls. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna leave now. And hopefully, when I log back on, I survive. And we survived. There we go. Now we just have to get back up here. And I'm not gonna speed burst now, because I'm scared. Oh, we have enough blaze rods. We can go now, we can go. Okay, this is very good. And you will hop in my boat. Please. And then I will kill you. And then I run around killing endermen for... I'm not joking. 15 minutes. And then I... I... Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's not- that's not good. We're gonna die right now. No, please. <sighs> World 9 was honestly pretty boring. I just went to the nether and then died to a blaze. Oh, I'm dead. And if you're wondering where World 8 went, that's a great question, actually. Anyways, the next world was actually pretty interesting. We were already in the nether and we were almost gonna make it to the fortress and then I just... Uh, pause? I just- I just paused the game for some reason. And then just started watching YouTube. I just- I just completely forgot I was recording. Like, I'm not even lying, this recording is literally 40 minutes long. In the middle of this YouTube session, I stumbled across this video by Antros, where he shows a method of removing the timer in demo mode, which would basically mean that I could take all the time that I want to beat the game. So this would all be uh, pointless. Um, but, but I think that's cheating, so I'm not gonna do it. Anyway, I finally remembered that I was in the game, and then I continued and just died to a blaze again. Not my proudest moment, but... Okay, world 11. I'm pretty sure it's world 11. I'm kind of losing track now, but yeah, it doesn't matter. So I killed there and golem, stole some stuff, got some gravel, and then built a portal. I guess was not being nice, but then I just ignored him and kept going. I hate gas, please just let me go. When I got to the fortress, I realized that I didn't have a shield, and I probably would die without one. So I started looking through the chest for an iron, and luckily I found one. There we go, that's one iron. Wait, okay, that's perfect. Okay, we've got one more. I think that should be enough. So I'm gonna start running, I guess. Please, don't hit me, don't hit me. So we're done with the blaze rods, and now we have to kill the endermen to get the ender pearls. We're doing really well on this one. On the way to the ender pearls, I got harassed by piglins, but I managed to get out of them. Oh, you're still chasing me. Oh, you're also chasing me. Is this, like, not a good situation, I think? I almost fell. Very good. Very good. Then I just killed endermen. Or... A, a very long time. I cannot keep track of this time. It was too long. But I finally managed to get enough ender pearls and I, I was lost. I don't really know where my portal is though. So I'm gonna have to look for it. I cannot make this up. This is the same thing that happened in run one. I have everything I need and I don't know where my portal is. Luckily I did find it, which was a huge relief because I was getting really scared at that point. It is, it is. It's here. Okay, that's good. I just, uh... That was actually a pretty cool play. And there's our portal. We can finally go back to the overworld. This might be the run. I'm hoping it is anyway. Now it's time to look for the stronghold. And the eyes of Ender. Okay, I'm not gonna throw them because I actually already know where the stronghold is. But I need to pull up the screenshot because I forgot. Negative 1,600, 1,200. Okay, that's our courts. We need to go there now. Oh, look, a village. That's actually perfect because we need beds to kill the Ender. Dragon. So for my calculations, we should just dig straight down into the portal. We're right on top of the portal, so now we can start digging. Oh. 
Be careful, dog. I don't want you to die. But it just wasn't there. The portal room should be right here. I mean, the amethyst shield. It was an amethyst shield where the portal was supposed to be. And I just couldn't seem to find the portal. It, it all just loops around. I was pretty demotivated, honestly. But I kept looking, and finally... Oh, wait, it's here. It's here, I found it. Uh, my pickaxe broke. This is it. This is... Wait, what? Oh, wait, it's, it's, it's here. It's, it's inside the... This is such a weird portal. Why is it inside the amethyst? So I got ready and went in. Where are we going? We're in the end, okay. Here we go. Have oh my gosh, okay. No! so close we did it oh my oh my god one heart we're alive oh my please now we can go on an adventure doggo now nah, i'm actually just gonna leave you there forever